Welcome to Gino's Comic to Comic Podcast and our man Gino. Hello everybody. Welcome to Gino's Comic to Comic Podcast Episode 7. So those of you that had six on the over under, you lose. <laughs> Never thought we'd made it to episode seven. <laughs> Luckily, the FCC hasn't found us yet, so we're all right. All right. <laughs> Everything's cool. And before we do anything, I got to bring in the world's greatest motherfucking sidekick, Bobby. What's up, Gino? What's going on, Bobby? No, I'm Bobby, and I'm going to do something tonight that is long overdue, Bob, and I should have done this a long time ago. But I think now episode seven is the time we should do it. We are going to... I always say every week how Bubby is the world's greatest motherfucking sidekick. But tonight, we are going to promote Bubby to the world's greatest motherfucking co-host. Now, before you get worried, Bubby, I want you to know that Todd had his production team talk to every sidekick we could find to make sure that you wouldn't get kicked out of the sidekick club. <laughs> and by the way, try saying sidekick club three times fucking fast. Right. So, I could cut, cut, cut. <laughs> so we got a hold. We talked to Robin. We uh, talked to Tonto. We talked to Bill Crawford. <laughs> And they all agreed that not only uh, wouldn't you get kicked out of Sidekick Club, but they were happy because it meant it might pave the way for future sidekicks to get promoted great. to co-host. Woo. So now, let me introduce to you the world's greatest motherfucking co-host, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I ladies, if you didn't know already, everybody needs a Bobby. Yeah. All right, so I'm glad we got that out of the way. It's long overdue. Congratulations. Yes. And now before we do anything else, there's one more thing I got to do so that I'm not in the doghouse. It is time for me. I must tell everybody that since our last podcast, my girlfriend had a birthday. And, oh, my God, I'm so – ladies, I'm sorry if you're finding out this way. <laughs> Gino's in a relationship. <laughs> I know you're upset, all you women out there that wanted, oh a, wanted a taste of this. <laughs> I know you're upset. And you guys oh, that thought I was going to turn eventually, I'm sorry, but I have a girlfriend. <laughs> and – Betty White, I love you. Oh. She turned 99, Betty, God, 99 a couple weeks ago, and I want to <laughs> give her a happy birthday. Betty. And here's the thing. All her fucking friends over at Sunnybrook Estates are always making fun of her <laughs> for robbing the fucking crate. Right? Right? They're always making jokes with her. Where you take them to? Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> so... Ladies, I hope you're listening over at Sunnybrook when I say that just because I didn't qualify for Medicare yet doesn't mean I can't make my own decision. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and for those of you that think that Betty's too old for me, you're so wrong. Oh, uh, look at that. 99 my ass, Betty White's good in the sack. <laughs> okay? <laughs> She knows stuff. <laughs> wisdom, baby. Yeah. That's wisdom. So now that I won't be in trouble at home or at the home. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Betty. I'll see you when I get back. All right, Betty. So I had to give a shout out to Betty White. So now that I've Absolutely. taken care of the two most important things I needed to do. Let's not fuck around, Bobby. Right, Bobby and I are both pretty goddamn excited tonight Absolutely. because our guest tonight is fantastic and we couldn't one. wait to have her on here oh my god so let's quit screwing around and let's get right to it our guest on episode seven is the world famous ghetto flower, ghetto flower. <laughs> yeah guys. welcome ghetto. how are you oh i'm doing good i'm excited to be here well, yeah. thank you. Yes, I'm glad. You won't be in about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. Yes. Yes. Apparently, she's never watched the show, Bob, because no, yeah, she still came she on. She still came, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't discriminate. Oh, of course not. <laughs> no way. No way. If it was up to me, it would be all black women, but that's Absolutely. just me. Absolutely. So... I hope you don't mind me asking you this, Lauren. I'm going to do it anyway. I've offended every guest I've ever had on here, so what the hell. So since we were just talking about how old my girlfriend is, mm -hmm. would you mind letting our audience know just how old are you, Lauren? That's an unlisted number. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is, <laughs> is that teach you, goddamn. <laughs> Huh. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Uh, well, there's a lot I'd like to know about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, Lauren and I, as Bobby knows, Lauren and I met at the Improv. The Improv, yeah. We've been on a bunch of shows together, and uh, she's just tremendous. And, uh, oh, my God. How, we've had so much fun on stage. We have it in your car. <laughs> oh, oh, we're whoa. allowed to talk about. Whoa! I did. You didn't tell me that, Tito. I thought we were. Betty, lost. Betty, I swear to God, it didn't mean anything. Oh, She's shit, kidding. Dude. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and then you well, know. Well, that was when Sonny Brook was on lockdown. Well, I, you know, what am I supposed to do? That's, that's like a hall pass. That yeah. should be a lot, right? She yeah. understands. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then men, men usually want to give me money or something, and and Gene, you know. He works for this bread company. He's bringing me loaves of bread. I do. And what makes him think that I'm going to let you hit it for a loaf of bread? <laughs> where, where do you but taste I, this fucking but I butter bread? It, and he brought me one loaf. I said, next time bring me two. He keeps uh, uh, Bob, when she tastes that fucking butter bread, things will be different. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it'll change your life. And mine too, maybe. Wow. Uh, Oh my God! So she's liking the buns I hear. Huh? Yeah, she does like my buns. She likes yes. your buns. Huh? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I work out. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Oh though. yeah, I bet I do. <laughs> does that count? Like, does that count as a workout? I don't know. <laughs> it's about as much workout as I do from the couch to the fridge I'm and back. You. I'm with you. That's about it. I do curls. It's called Dr. Pepper Curls. <laughs> By the way, Dr. Pepper, if you're listening, I could use a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. And then absolutely. nobody a better nobody than me. Nobody drinks more Dr. Pepper than his <laughs> Yes. Man, right? By the way, anybody wants to sponsor us, call me. <laughs> so I think it's time. What do you think? I think it's time. I think it's time we get to. The five question segment because we want to know oh, God. what Ghetto Flower thinks about the important world topics. Life changing. The life changing topics. This could change people's lives when they hear <laughs> your opinion on these topics. <laughs> okay. And as I'll I, give it as my I best warned shot. Sean last week, mm -hmm. I will let you know that some of these questions you may not be able to run for president after you <laughs> answer some of these. <laughs> I know I can't. When I told everybody I like Hawaiian pizza, that was gone. I lost I half the vote. We almost lost our producer. We almost lost that. our producer. Yes, we almost lost It, it was the first time he spoke on yeah, yeah. on, <laughs> he on an little, episode. He, he went, listen, I've listened to you guys say a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> but you want to talk about goddamn Pineapple on a pizza? I draw the line. You said pineapple. I heard him. Yeah. yeah. I heard he, that he, one. He was a hell to the no to the pineapple. It was the first time he said anything on any of these podcasds. I love pizza. Yeah, me too. I do. Well, that's why you I'm and fat. I are two I peas in a pod. Yeah, that's why this was perfect. We probably should have interviewed the producer a little more thoroughly. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, what are you going to do? He, he knows all the important stuff, like how to turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> how to make the microphone. All the stuff we don't know we how don't to know. do. So we kind it of was up to me and Bobby. We'd be on two cans with a string. <laughs> Right. Or like Jeff Nedley, we'd be out in the middle of a field oh with God. some tin foil waiting for lightning. <laughs> oh, so Jeff, we love you. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, so. All right, so what are we doing? Oh, yeah, the five questions yeah. thing. Bobby and I both have dementia, so we get distracted a little. So They call that ADHD. Is that what that is? Attention deficit. Is that what that stands for? Is that what we got? I don't know. I want to get ice cream? You can't yeah. concentrate on <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she said you can't Oh, Lauren's <laughs> killing me over here. <laughs> All right, Lauren. So the very first question that the people want to know mm -hmm. is KFC, original or extra crispy? KFC. Original. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it depends on what day, it depends on what day it is. Some day I want crispy, some day I want original. But then KFC is not the only chicken place I go to. You gotta try a crispy, crunchy chicken, and he's celebrity, and you'll forget about KFC. Oh damn. It's All some right. good chicken oh, over there. You're in big trouble. You no, run I for see office why you've been on, sta around. on Station Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good chicken up in there, and them Vietnamese is cooking. Mm. They got some soul up in there. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Call it greens and oh, 
Oh, everything. Lamb. We'll get back to that in a second. So you don't have a preference at KFC? No, I eat them both. I ate them both, and I never buy them. You go both ways. Uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Good, because that's coming up later. <laughs> I, just, I just go through the drive through Believe it or not, I never buy a meal. I just go through the drive through and, Smile and they, at them. And they know me. Go like this with her hair, and they yeah, give her a free wings. meal. Can you give me two wings? That's all I ever get is two wings. No biscuit, no nothing. Just two wings. I just want two breasts, me that's personally. <laughs> I'm a big fan Are of Are we still talking about chicken? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know, but... Is that what you do? Just go there, give them a little smile, play with the hair for a second, and you get two free wings? Well, no, I usually need my hair at home. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I used to do that when I had yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, me too. All this long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this Vietnamese place you're talking about, is that your favorite local restaurant? Crispy Crackin' Chicken. Crispy Crunchy Chicken. Is that your favorite local restaurant? or? Because that's the next question. Well, what's, what's your favorite local restaurant? Well, it's closed now because of COVID. It was Alexander's Old Family Italian Restaurant on Liberty up from West Penn. 40 years in business, and they're gone. Aww. That's one of my favorite places. And then I like Ritter's Diner, Kelly O's Diner in the Strip. I like yeah, those little diner jokes, jo too. joints, you know? Mm. Me too. Mm -hmm. There's a place right by my house called Mohan's. It's just tremendous. They're still open. The fried chicken's tremendous. That's mostly what they're known for, but they do everything in there. I live so close that I could just order from there. And they were smart. They embraced this right when this whole COVID thing happened. So they have a six-pack shop. Like they have a restaurant, a barn, and a six-pack shop. So they have it set up so that when you order to go, you just go in the six-pack shop. They have a rack there behind you the counter. When they bring it in, they set it back there with your tag on it, and then you just tell the guy at the counter. He looks if it's there. He rings you up, and you're gone. And if it's not there, he'll, he can check it out. He goes, it'll be ready in a couple of minutes. They got people cool. commenting on yeah. all the time. Like, they, they figured it out. And guess who else has good fried chicken now? Who? Get goes. Get go. And as they I, fry as it I, fried right there. And a lot of times they have it waiting on you in the warmer. You can just get in and check out. I had oh. the school T-Rub on his, uh, the first yeah, episode about good. how good Get-Go is yeah. on their food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really do. I mean, they're, I have pretty much everything they have. And they have a sandwich. They do different specialty sandwiches all year. But they have one that's there all year round. It's called the Mamma Mia. I know. And it yep. is that a chicken breast that's deep fried. And then it's got mozzarella sticks, onion rings, and marinara sauce it's on amazing. top of it on a bun. It's really? Amazing. And it is. Good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's orgasmic, but it's that, it's not better than everyone I've had sex with, but there's a few well, women out there. You know, <laughs> it's better than. Food has taken the place of my sex life, actually. You know what I mean? I was thinking about having a mirror put up over my kitchen table. <laughs> It's, 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 it's nothing else to do but eat. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> that would really be hot. That would be kind of cool. Huh? Oh, my. I we, like the way she works. I, I swear that almost every episode we have mentioned that I have been trying to combine food and sex for years. <laughs> my two favorite things. Yeah, absolutely. God. Yeah, it's like George Costanza. Well, it's easier for me to get food. <laughs> <laughs> me, too. <laughs> I feel your pain. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh, my God. So we better get to the next question before we completely go down the gutter here. So yeah. the third question is, are you more attracted to a fat wallet or a sparkling personality? Hmm. Well, both of them have got me in trouble. Because <laughs> <laughs> that sparkling personality, you know, they want to move in your house and drive your car and <laughs> and all that stuff, you know, and then... Next thing you know, something's missing, and I'm saying, did you see my diamond ring? And, <laughs> and then they start telling you crack tales, like, an insurgent must have been in here. And, <laughs> what, what the hell is an insurgent <laughs> in America? You know what I mean? <laughs> but then that fat wallet, you know, uh, one preacher, he, uh, he, <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> and I have a degree in Christian education. Anyway, uh, so this one preacher, you know, he uh, was talking to me in the church office, and he's like 80 years old, and he said, you know, uh, I'm a widower, and uh, I get 
two pension checks, and I hate to see them pension checks go to waste. And <laughs> I thought maybe me and you could go out on a date sometime. And uh, <laughs> so, is that how he talked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and then it's he crazy, has, maybe. and then he has this bad, bad back and with a brace. And anyway, so I said, well. I'll, I'll try this. I'll, I'll see how this works. So he told me, well, I, I, I likes to garden, and, and I want you to come and see my garden. He said, because my refrigerator broke. I didn't throw it away. I put it in my yard, took the door off, and used it for a planter in my yard. A, a planter. So then he, he always asked me if I want to go to Costco. So he 80 years old. I said, well, okay, I'll go to Costco. You can get me a couple things. And we went to Costco, and we was working, walking together, but then he used to wander off, and I couldn't find him. And I didn't have to tell him to an announce his name so I could find him in the store, drifting away, <laughs> drifting, away <laughs> drifting away and stuff, and then he would forget my name. So <laughs> the fat wallet, that didn't work too well. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we, <laughs> you got to get him to sign everything over before he forgets your name. Exactly. <laughs> That's the key. Exactly. Yeah. That signature is a must. Yes. Yes. That's what I preach. <laughs> I was really hoping she was going to say sparkling personality because I don't have a fat wall. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you I do, do bring me But bread. I do have a sparkle. So She's, she's loving them buns, though. Uh, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I might look like I'm stupid, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, so... The next question I have for you, and I don't know why. It seems like I ask every woman that comes on this show this question because I, I got a thing for this. If you had to sleep with a woman, who would it be? RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I love or, it. Does that or, count? Is that, does Todd, that, or, no, that Todd, count? Todd, will you look that up for or, me and find out if RuPaul counts or, as a yeah. If that or, counts as a woman. Or, or. With, with the current administration, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. He's got or, one hell of a point. I'm that's telling you. I he love his does. He's, oh, he's right yes. about that. Or, he's right. Or Billy Porter. That's about, that's about as close as I get to sleeping with a woman. What you think? What you think? It's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I was hoping. Oh, my God. Rupa, that's a genius. I count, honestly man. am not going to go to bed and I think about you rolling around with RuPaul. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Janelle said Beyonce. I thought about that yeah, for about for three week. weeks. But you're, yeah. But does that count, though? I don't know. I, I don't know if it counts if he actually has a penis. It's does he have away. a I don't it's know. Does RuPaul have a penis? Somewhere. I don't know if he uh, had that operation or not. But that's about as far as I go in terms of being with a woman. Hmm. No, I've seen a. I've been a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of faces, but I just can't see what some woman's face between my legs. <laughs> 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 all right, I guess I should understand that, because I say all the time, I wish I could be gay, but I just can't suck dick. Yeah, so I'm I, with you. I, I, it would be so much easier, but I just can't. It would be. I can't do it. The you only know? reason I talk to women is because they got a pussy. If, if I could be gay, it would be so much simpler, but Ooh. I don't know how no, anybody can suck that. a dick. I, no. I, I really don't. I don't know how women do it. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know how men can't do it. I don't know how men perform cunnilingus. <laughs> now that's different. Because, I could do that all fucking day that long. Very, that could be very life threatening. As uh, what was his name, Douglas, the actor? You know, because if a woman has cancer in her vajayjay, if she has any cancer cells, then that cancer can get in your mouth and in your throat, and you end up with cancer with a uh, cancer of the throat. And you know how you, you see the commercial with people that used to smoke and they talking to a drake and say, I used to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> well, you keep eating that, that <laughs> JJ, and it's going to be a commercial, I ate the wrong pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, now here's how I feel about this. Stop. How hot is she? <laughs> <laughs> if it's just some random chick I picked up in a fucking bar, I'm pissed that I got right, throat cancer. Got, but if, if it's, it's like, goddamn Scarlett Johansson, I'll take I'll throat cancer team, all day long. <laughs> I'll do it knowing I'm going to get throat cancer. <laughs> yes. 
Aww. Treat me, Doc. Hey, Doc, did I tell you how I got this cancer? I was going down on Scarlett Johansson. You know who she is? And I'd show him a picture. I'd go oh. through the goddamn emergency room showing everybody who I went down on. Is that like straight yeah, to... it depends how hot she is. Straight to Man Hall of Fame. When you... Yeah, you're going yeah, right to the Mall right, of absolutely. Fame. You get... You yeah. get the, the absolutely so stupid. <laughs> the PC from the VJJ yeah. of, yes. of SC or SJ or whatever the hell her damn. Uh, oh my God, this took a weird turn. So <laughs> since we're since we've thoroughly taken a complete wrong turn, it's all right. let's go for it all the way yes. and let's ask the. Now this is the most important question. People were sending me letters, ask her this, because everybody wants to know, have you ever been in a three-way? I've been in three-way traffic. <laughs> I have, too. <laughs> you know, you know, when you come to the fork of the road, it's just go straight yes. ahead, go right. I've, that's, a, that's just nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. The, the, the car accident or the real three-way? Three -way with some, some other woman. With or, two, or with two, two people? Men. Yeah, with two. No, that's nasty. I ain't doing that. Why is it nasty? It's just nasty. I don't want no woman on me. What you if know? it was two guys? Don't want that. You either. get to pick. Look, half the time these guys can't can't do it no way. <laughs> you talk, you That's talk, why you need a second one. You know, you talk, half the time they be suffering from erectile dysfunction. Yeah, if the one guy gets tired or passes out, you got the second one. Tired and passed out and couldn't do I'll nothing. I'll take in two the first chicks place. all day long. <laughs> yeah, they talk about COVID was a pandemic. Erectile dysfunction been a pandemic for down for years. <laughs> 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 it's it's like, <laughs> damn it, solve that damn problem. We ain't got to worry about that bub thing, guys. Right. Nothing in the bed getting on my nerves. That is the only part of me that thinks we're still 18 yet. Right. The yeah. whole rest of me rest is of falling apart. And that is the first thing up in the morning going, come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> and my knees and my elbows going, fuck, oh my God, can we yes. stay in bed? No, let's go, let's go. Like, I don't, oh. it's the Good only part, you, the only part that still works. <laughs> they say, they say it's you. the second thing to go. They're full of shit. Your mind's the first thing to go. Yeah, I'm with you. Not the second thing. Yeah. Yeah, so all right, so that never in a three way. Damn it, dude! Let's I cut was, this off early, huh, Bub? No, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could have told you something about that, but I just ain't. Uh, I ain't doing it. <laughs> it's all right. We still love you. Uh, okay. Uh, we do. Well, yeah. We, yeah. We, yeah. We, absolutely. Yeah. So I've never been in a three way. Other, I have been in a three way car accident, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been. I mean, unless you count the two ladies at the massage parlor, but I don't think that's technically a three way. <laughs> I well, mean, they, they were <laughs> both jerking me off at the yes. same time. But so then that technically I get, the, well, yeah. I don't that know. That counts. I don't know. We're going to have to, Todd's going to have to get the rule book out again. <laughs> we're going to have to find out. I don't know if that counts or not. If one plays with the, well, the, I don't know exactly <laughs> how to, but. <laughs> I may have been in a three-way, turns uh, out. One, one day I'm going to have to just see what you got. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you one do, day? Don't be shy. Let's just up, pull it out right all, now. You, you doing all that talking, I, I, I'm, oh. I'm going to have to see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> show, show me things. Way me past bad. my bedtime. Right <laughs> <laughs> you got to catch me high. first thing in the morning. <laughs> Morning wood. When he's ready, wake up. After about hello. four o'clock, we all, all every when part you, of me goes when to you, bed. When you have to pee. <laughs> yeah, right before that. <laughs> that is absolutely the truth. Oh, God, it, it makes me up pointing to the bathroom. Right. So, all right. So that was our really important five questions. Yeah. So, uh oh, <laughs> Bobby, tell Ghetto Flyer what time it is. Ghetto Flyer. It's bitch slap or bang. Get out. Get out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Lawrence. I don't know if you've ever played this game before, so I'm going to give you two choices, and you're going to tell us which one you would bitch slap and which one you would bang and why. Important why. Yeah, we'd love to hear the reasoning on these. <laughs> so your two choices for bitch slap or bang are Captain America or the Incredible Hulk? Oh, damn. Cap First of all, I don't look at little kids' stuff, but anyway, Captain America or 
The Incredible Hulk. The incredible. So you mean by bang, bang. Define bang. Fuck. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do it. I was trying to was, think of some polite way perfect. of doing it. I go, ah. Perfect. Just, so just, first of all, I'd like to bitch slap you for asking me this stupid ass question. <laughs> the first one that didn't. All right. Okay, but okay. The first one okay, that said okay. that. <laughs> That's what I like to do. But anyway, but anyway, what's the first one's name? Captain America. See, I can't even fix it in my mind. Can you? I don't have my glasses on. Captain. <laughs> I don't know what else we Wait. can do for you. <laughs> we got pictures for you. <laughs> we got. You do, we didn't know we had to have prescription <laughs> eyewear, so you could see the goddamn thing. <laughs> anyway, Captain. You know who the Incredible Hulk is, right? Yeah. Oh the yeah. The big green dude. Yeah, I used to watch him. Okay. Yeah, so but Captain, Captain America, America is the dude. There it is. I know. Oh, okay. she's just screwing just with us. I'm just okay. jagging you off. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Captain America, I'd uh, bitch slap him. You know, it, you know, bitch slap means that you just slap somebody just to shake them up and have a little bit of control. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, yeah. You know what okay. I mean? But mm -hmm. I'd bitch slap him. But you could pimp slap him. <laughs> now, when you pimp slap somebody, <laughs> that means that you knock him out. That's, that's the, right. the way yeah. back slap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he know. Uh, he yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> so that was. That would be for Captain America. Now, for the Incredible Hawk, it was something sexy about when he started to turn into that big green muscular thing. So I think I would bang Oops, the Incredible, yeah. Incredible oh, Hawk. Yeah. And we could have some little green babies. <laughs> <laughs> that I'd like to see. <laughs> so obviously I don't really have a preference on this because it's two guys. But <laughs> for me, what it really came down to was... Did you want the pretty boy, or do you like it rough? I think she likes it rough. Yeah, yeah, it was that was the two. Because let's face it, the Hulk is just gonna bang a living crap out of you. Yeah, yeah. But the Captain America is gonna look at himself in the mirror the whole fucking time he's doing it because he's one of them pretty boys. You gotta look gotta good be all perfect, the time. Right, yeah. Right, right, smooth, yeah. So, so we learn a little something record. about get yeah. a flower. Yeah, yeah. She, we have. She's more he could be a big teddy bear. In the, the incredible she is Hawk, the he could be bear. he could be a big green teddy bear. Well, then he turned back into the Banner yeah, guy, wasn't Bruce Banner, yeah. The was it Bruce Banner? Yeah, Bruce Banner. I, I'm picturing Bill Bixby right I'm now. I'm still somebody. laughing at him. He, I'm still laughing at him. He shows me his phone and says, See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this this is, we do it all on this podcast. <laughs> we don't fuck around around here. We, we sure do the research. The right info, that's right. We have a Good. crack team of investigative reporters. We got it all. I'm telling you, you know how hard it was to get a hold of Tonto to find out if Bubby could be a co host or not? I love it. Tonto Hello. didn't answer the phone for a while. We you finally had to just pond on the ground for a while. <laughs> he finally answered. Jesus. Made my week. <laughs> made my week. That was the idea. I love it. That's fantastic. So do you got anything you want to promote or talk about, Lauren? Well, um, well, two things. Uh, I have The last thing I'll talk about is what I want to promote. But um, one thing that really has me uh, concerned is the English language. Because like every 20 years, a new word is in, introduced. And maybe 20 years ago, uh, the new word was insurgent because of what was going on overseas and all that. And then with the Rodney King beatings and different brutality on, on colored people, black folks, then, you know, it was called a riot. But now with this thing that went down in D.C., the vernacular has changed again, and they introduce us to this word insurrection, which means that you come against, uh, you uh, uh, unpeaceably toward the government. And then the word that really gets me is, you know, when I was growing up, you talked about sex, you talked about, did you do it? Did y'all do it? Or, you know, did he make love to you good? So now they call sex smashing. <laughs> Hulk smash <laughs> Hulk smash There's your green babies <laughs> <laughs> you know, did I you, like smash potatoes <laughs> <laughs> You know so did, did you smash You know and, and you know Smash means to To collide with Sometimes to, to, that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it's good it looks like that oh, yeah. <laughs> to, 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 to hit it hard 
You know, I mean, that, when, when, now you're yeah, talking. Yeah. I mean, how, how romantic is that? Oh, it's romance not, no. has nothing no, to do no with romance, it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want nobody. Women say me. they want romance. No, they, they do don't. not. They don't. Maybe no. I should have said to that eighty-year-old man, "You want to smash?" Anyway. Yes. <laughs> <What about? laughs> And he might have, damn, he and, might have blown a hip Before out. we <laughs> move on, there's something else I want to point out. I love how women are always talking about how they, they're they worried about the ecology and the, the global warming and all this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's real cool. Pull up in a fucking Prius and see if you get any sex. <laughs> Go ahead. You pull in a goddamn Prius. She's not even coming out of the house, okay? <laughs> she may say that she wants you to be ecologically correct, but yeah. I'm telling you what. You pull up in a gas-guzzling Cadillac, you're getting late. <laughs> you're right? getting it. So absolutely. You ain't fooling us, ladies. It's I'm sorry. Thing. That's had... for women, too. Guys coming after you because of the car you're driving. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but what I'm excited about is this uh, gentleman by the name of John Belly. Uh, got in touch with me, and uh, he's a former reporter uh, for uh, New York Times and Wa Washington Post and those kind of, uh, uh, that type of media. And uh, he says that he wants to do a one-woman show with me. He wants to bring all the lights and the sound and everything. And he found this old theater that's renovated from like 1926 or something. <coughs> oh. Yeah, and he wants to just do me to do this one woman show, and then he's going to promote it and see how sounds it goes. Sounds awesome. Yeah, that so sounds that's really cool. So that's what you I'm leave your clothes on for this, or or else nobody will watch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'll be in the front row, baby. <laughs> Woo. Yep. So that's my good news. Awesome. Ah, well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah awesome. let us know about that. Okay. We'll put it on the comedy that's page. Fun. Give us a okay. Date. That's cool. We will definitely put that out there, which reminds me, if you want to watch this podcast, if you're wondering how you can hear it, you can hear it anywhere that you get your podcast, Spotify, uh, anywhere that I heart, anywhere that has podcasts. If you uh, want to watch it, you can watch it right where you're watching it now on Facebook. You can also, we now have a YouTube channel, uh, Gino Comedy on YouTube, you, and you can watch it on there. And our next episode is going to be two weeks from tonight. We are now... We're continuing to go every other Wednesday. We're now going to do this show live wow. every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. We decided live's better because when we fuck up, it's way funny. It's funny. <laughs> so <laughs> right. we've decided to leave the fuck-ups in and go live. You yeah. just roll with it. Roll. And plus, that way Todd gets to bed earlier. So <laughs> we're going to do it live every other Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So our next show is going to be February 10th. And our guest for that is going to be none other than the Mike Zydell. Yeah. So if you haven't seen My Mike Zydell, you need to tune in. He's a and uh, he's tremendous. And uh, Lauren, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, or baby. as well, we welcome. say, the great ghetto flower. This was fun. I can't thank you enough for coming on. Um, Bubby. Yes. How'd we do? It was great, man. Good show. You know, we didn't kill anybody. Only hurt maybe a couple feelings. You know, maybe <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> the, uh, well, if we show, didn't hurt man. a couple feelings, yeah, we wouldn't be I doing it know, right. That's what we were supposed to do, right? So thank you, thanks everybody for listening. I, we really appreciate. It. We got a lot of views on this podcast. Yeah, it's been awesome. Really appreciate it. If you if you could share it for us, we'd appreciate that too. Like to get the word out and get this out as much as we can. So thank you and good night. All right.